this is an image of a mammalian cell taken with an optical microscope. And as you can see in here, there are many different colors in a very nice picture. However, if we want to zoom in in here for details using our optical microscope, this is essentially what we see, a very blurred image. And this is essentially as a result of the diffraction limit of our microscopy techniques. The other problem that we have in here is, as you can see, these images are static, but a living cell is in itself dynamic. And we want to have access to the dynamic character of living cells. My name is Maria Garcia Parajo, and I'm leading the group of single molecule biophotonics at ICFO. The mission of my group is to develop optical techniques with very high spatial temporal resolution and to apply these techniques to the study of biological processes in living cells with single molecule detection sensitivity. Biological function starts at the level of single molecules. That occurs at the nanometer scale and that occurs between individual components. So the difference between health and disease is actually being given by the fact of how those individual molecules talk to each other. For instance, we have in a study how the HIV virus is capable of hijacking dendritic cells, which are the cells of your immune system that patrols our body looking for infections. So the HIV virus lands on these cells and use dendritic cells as Trojan horses to then travel with the dendritic cells to the lymph node where then the virus is being transmitted to the T cells and therefore is when um, people acquire the AIDS. This was completely new and we could see it in a dynamic fashion and in real time. So that actually was an open eye to the community studying the, the process of infection of the HIV having obviously consequences for the therapy of the disease. Light is the key ingredient. Light is not invasive. Light allows it to visualize, to look at things right in the way they are, and allows it we can play with light and actually bring the light to that very small scale to look the origins of life. So science is a passion. It's actually an obsession for me. It's the challenge of finding things out and the pleasure of understanding. This is what science is for me.